curbside parking. This is TNNUA campus in the morning. I'm going to walk to 7-Eleven, but from my room we're going to cut through the this building here. There's a passageway. It's really beautiful here in the morning. We've got a nice day again today. It's supposed to get up in the 70s. Yesterday was kind of chilly. It was about 57 degrees here and rainy. I'm going to get some coffee at 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven here is a lot different from 7-Eleven in the United States. That They're not gas stations here. Uh, they are convenience stores, but um, people actually go there for meals sometimes. I just want to show you the, the texture of this path that I'm getting ready to walk on. It's paved with, with these little tiny rectangular rocks, and it's granite or something, and then uh, the pattern alternates between strips of the rectangles and strips of these um, cobblestone-like rocks, and it just keeps going that way. And that's the building that we just passed through, the passageway between the buildings, I guess. There's a little lake over there. And on the other side of the bridge, there's a that building has a cafeteria in it, a student cafeteria. And over there is faculty housing for the professors. I don't know what that building is yet, over on the hill. From here you can see the canal that, that runs through, through campus. There are a lot of lily pads on it, and the lily pads are blooming right now. There's the, the faculty housing again. Now we'll cross the bridge. That's one of the music buildings over there. area down here is kind of an amphitheater built in. Even the way this, the floor of this bridge is held together is interesting. Looks like it's stitched together. These bricks have a pattern on them, too. There's a little restaurant out here. It's not open right now. 
in that building. Here are two little sinks. They're made out of carved granite. This one has soap in it. This tree is the is growing kind of sideways and it has uh, chunks of wood stuck under it to support it. Here's an up close look at the faculty housing. They have apartments. Right by the canal. Here's the amphitheater from the as seen from the little stone bridge. There's the building with the passageway that we walked through, and there's the other bridge that we crossed. You can see the little dam that separates the pond from the canal. There's another tree trunk that's kind of growing sideways. Oops, I almost dropped my camera. So uh, there are little stairs and a little platform. It looks almost like you could uh, have a boat out here and you could get into and out of the boat there. The path continues to the left or to the right, and I'm going to go to the right since that will get me close to 7 Eleven for my coffee. It's a really big water droplet on that lily pad, and when the wind blows, it kind of rolls back and forth. bridge would get me really close to 7-Eleven.
But I want to go down here and show you how tall these plants are. campus here is so beautiful and it's really interesting here in Taiwan to see uh, the architectural styles that uh, that we don't see in the US we might see th things like this these are similar to what might be popular in the southwest in the United States but uh, the buildings that we see in the cities here are a lot different from what we see in the US but now we'll look at this big plant that's almost as tall as that building. It's not a tree. I don't know what kind of plant it is. It, it reminds me of an elephant ear plant that we have in the United States, but it's much, much bigger. And the leaves are a little bit different. The shadows on everything are really interesting this morning. Well, and this looks like a hibiscus plant that we have in America. But it is a, a tropical plant. It's native to other countries. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Maybe that's better. shady in this spot. Well, there's another stone bridge farther down the canal. And there's some kind of uh, evergreen tree right there. But we are going to cross here at this little wooden bridge. The people here in Taiwan have been so friendly uh, and they're being very patient with me. I can't speak any Chinese, but they're being very helpful and patient. I think if everyone in the world would treat others the way the people in Taiwan do, there wouldn't be any problems today. It looks like this bridge was a better choice. 7-Eleven is right across the street. But we will look at this tree trunk first. That's the way the trunk is growing. It looks almost like vines have grown on the trunk, but it's actually coming from the tree itself. There's the basketball court, and that is the 7-Eleven.